I'm at the Hammersmith's Inn and House D, Denise. Back here, you've got uh, four guys chilling at the table. Give you some quests to do the depths. Uh, it's a chain, but it's not a chain. I mean, you can just go from one to the next. But it's not like, like I said, like the Sharn Syndicate, where you get some extra for doing them. There's only four of them. Uh, the fourth one's actually one level higher. But I'm, I'm not worried about that. You can just come right over here next to this formation. Not the guys kneeling. Uh, the guys standing over here. The depth of despair. If you start here, you can go through all four without actually leaving. These have a smattering of mobs in them. Kind of all over the place. Uh, again, I'll always go left, so... Maybe start with the Earth Elemental. I'm not going to go through every passageway. I'm just going to go... I'm just going to take a route and take it to the end. We got spike traps here. Could have been a chest. Oh, there is a chest. The trap boxes in the middle. Somewhere over here. We got some undead over there. I don't think it registered my search. Okay, it's not in the middle. Maybe it's before it. There we go. So it's before the spikes. Yeah, there's some lag going on. Alright, grab my chest. I'm gonna search on this side too, see if there's a trap box over here. Since you can come from Yep, come from either side. Depending which way you went in the beginning. Let's go ahead and take care of this undead since they aggroed me. Too close to that ghast. They're like super ghouls. The jelly there. Spider, we got a rust monster. Uh, these guys have crowns, so I want to see if they're going to drop some remnants for me. Nope, no remnants. Ooh, white. Oh, let's get away from him. Rust monster's awfully close. Let's go ahead and take care of him. Alright, I'm going to go down the direction the rust monster was. Uh, I want to say there's a glass spider. These guys just lay eggs. And the, the, the baby spiders run around and attack you. And if you touch the eggs, you get poisoned. There's a shrine. That earth elemental is not active yet. Let's see if we can't just web him. I think they have to move. If he took a step, maybe you have to make a save. I'm pretty sure violent, uh, violet, violet slimes split when you hit them. In melee, maybe it's his slashing weapons. It's all awake a little too late. So we got a named Earth Elemental here, and yeah, neither bolt landed. Stay out of his Earth Grab range. It's fairly short range, just outside of melee. Grab my collectible in my chest. Might be a couple troglodytes right here. I see the wakes. Yep. Okay. And this is the end. We have the boss, but I want that shaman first. Yeah, that. A large spell gives you such a great range. Alright, so that's the first of the depths. Go ahead and just run to the next one. Put on my spell point ion stone. Depth of darkness would be the second one. These are fairly short. I mean, you could run through the whole quest. I'm just not doing that. It's only 3,000 XP. 
is I break my rule of always going left here. There's a secret door right here. We got some hobgoblins. Witch doctor I didn't notice that was a witch doctor back there. Alright, this chest is still locked because we got some hobgoblins down here. There is a trap. It's a fire. That probably unlocked the chest there. Yep. I'm not sure exactly where it's at down here. I think it's right here in front of the mushroom. No. I have a feeling I'm going to get hit by it. No, okay, so it's kind of delayed a little, so you can tend to be able to run past it. And then it'll fire off. So now I'll look for the, for the boxes past it anyway. Right, easy enough. Crypt moss worm larva. I just need crypt moss worm, not larva and that queen. Yeah, I see a wake over there. Okay, so we killed a ooze. Now right here is a shrine. go. We got some undead down here. Necromancer down here at the end. Yep. Spawned on me. This guy's a pretty weak, so. If he's staying still, I'll bolt him. If you step up in the alcove, get more to spawn. Take care of these guys real quick. This alcove. All right. Now, when you pop, pop this chest over here. Some dudes are gonna spawn. The web's probably overkill, but I know they're gonna spawn. So. And the web did absolutely nothing. Sweet. You can go right. A couple rust monsters. I'm going to come down here to the left since I can pick a lock. Take care of these minotaurs. Uh, a named minotaur can spawn in here. Give me an extra chest. Check these guys out. Around this corner here. There's a chest. No named minotaur, though. Maybe a named minotaur doesn't spawn here. Yeah, whatever. You get a chest out of that couple more kills. I hear an earth elemental walking around. <laughs> uh, oh, just one rust monster. I thought there was like three here. I guess there's another spot. Alright. So yeah, there's earth grab range. We got, we got another one. As soon as he stops walking. Oh. I mean, he be walking at me. I can still hit him with a bolt. There's a glass spider here somewhere. There it is. Oh, it's two of them. Yeah, they themselves don't do anything. They don't attack, just lay eggs. And up here will be the exit. This room can be a little hairy. You're going to have some hobgoblins, some casters high up on ledges. Uh, you kill it, that guy, and it ends the quest. So let's nuke this guy, this guy, let them come, so I don't have to deal with the spellcasters. These guys have 500 hit points, it's not too bad. 13. Alright, so we have that throne there. They're gonna, the caster's gonna spawn up on those ledges. So, I'm just going to be safe here and go invisible. Behind the throne is a chest. And right here goes to the next, uh, next quest. So, we'll go ahead and step in. Depths of Discord. Uh... How to describe this one? Well, there's a main path, 
and there's offshoots that you're going to come right back up from that main path. You can hit a lever or switch, valve, whatever, each of them. This one's theme is oozes. So you have to deal with oozes in this uh, branch of the path. You get to hit a lever or valve to open that door. Here's one of the violet slimes. Yeah, the acid's not splitting them. Yeah, they like to drop down on you here. Oh, we've got a named Troll, Bone Chewer, the Foul. Yeah, he didn't make it. I don't see any more slimes, oozes. So I'll run back up here. And that opened this door. We're gonna have two Minotaurs on the left here. And at the end of the passage, you got some dogs that are sleeping, some wolves. I guess he was just out of my cone range. So we're gonna take care of these wolves real quick. And then we're gonna deal with a couple secret doors back there. One's got a white. Oh, and he opened the door, it looks like. And this one's got a scorpion. I believe a chest, yep. Easy enough. Get my chest. Then we're gonna come over here and kill some trolls. I want to see. I'm going to hit this guy once. See if he regens that damage. No, doesn't look like he can. His health is remaining the same. Alright, so they can't regen the acid damage. That's from a previous video. Where I wasn't sure how... Dungeon Dragons Online dealt with the troll regen. I guess it's just like pen and paper. Oh, I missed that mushroom over there. Alright. Crit moss. I need that. We got a bunch of earth elementals. That's the theme for this one. It's active. No, nope. you didn't even have to make a save. Ooh, I thought I was out of range. But... There's gonna be some more coming around the corner. Yeah, he got webbed. Okay, there's gonna be something coming around the corner up here, so I'm gonna throw another web. Thought there was more that came around the corner. Well, oh, right here you have a shrine. That, that that one right there closes this door. Uh, down here we're going to have some wraiths. No breakables. Much rather deal with wraiths than shadows. Alright, they're dealt with. Could have been a named wraith down here, I don't know. Nope. It's sparkling dust. That opens up the last passageway. This fight might be long if I get Earth grabbed. So I'm going to go ahead and rebuff. Run up here. We're going to have a named Earth Elemental. And a couple more that spawn if you step in the room. Pretty sure if you, if you step in the room. Yeah, I only see the named one. So I'm going to go ahead and... He leashes pretty quick. He can't go very far. Yeah, he was going to earth grab me. I didn't want to run too far from him. Alright, killed him with a direct damage bolt. We're going to have some more earth on metals here. Alright, 
both of them got webbed. Did an earth grab save. Yeah, I guess he was trying to leave. <laughs> Alright, grab his chest. And then we head into the last of the depths, the depths of doom. Okay, it's one level higher than the other three. Buff up here. This one's gonna have some traps in it. I think we got some undead right here. Yeah. Ooh. A couple whites. And a ghoul. Alright, taken care of. I believe this is a secret. Nope. It's got a lever right there. I think there's a wraith in the next room. There we go. Alright, he was easy enough. Ah, uh, here's the room with the three rust monsters. Oh, they got... That one's kind of tough. They dropped a remnant for me at least. Behind this door. I do these every life because they're just quick. They're not too difficult. You just kind of run through them. If you're not prepared, I think the last one's the worst with all the earth elementals. Especially if you run into that room. Okay, so there's explosive barrels. We'll spawn a fire elemental with my flag. My cloak just ate the fireball. I saw that mushroom trying to sneak past me. I believe. Oh, this is the way we gotta continue. Alright, down here's a trap. Let's see if I can find the box. Not sure where. Oh, there it is. It's a blade trap that shoots between this gap here. Yeah, so if you walk by, it'll hit you. We got two valves to hit. One's behind this door. Could have been a named guy. It's like an earth elemental right here. This is one of the levers to open that door back there. And this is a shrine. I don't know why I said reflex save. It's my cloak regenning me. Got two minotaurs in here. Shaman is dope. Right. Stepped aside to avoid his charge. So you don't want to get knocked down. Here's your other lever. And this is... This is, sounds like something I would do as a dungeon master. There's a trap right here. Oh, man. I think that box is on the other side of it. Whew. Yeah, I think... The, this is a blade that shoots right here. Is there a collective? No. Different room. Alright, we got a named troglodyte here. Looks like he made saves or a rolled crap one or two. Uh, chest. So, what we got left down here is five ogres. One of them's the. Hammer Fist the Mighty. Ugh. Really hoping to one shot that shaman. Okay, I want to kill. Oh, there he is. No, oh, he's aggro to me now. I'm going to get these breakables. Didn't hit me too hard, no crits. Ah! Decent amount of damage. Oh, his rage just wore off, so it stuns him. Or dazed him, or whatever. Grab my collect. Okay, lag. I can't even move. Caravan log book. And grab my chest. It's a cool green cauldron over there. And that's it. It's all four depths in house D. This will take me back out into the enclave itself.